Thank you for joining us. I'm Nancy Furness, and this is We've Got Issues. And We've Got Issues is a nonpartisan, citizens-based forum where we look at issues of interest to the Tri-Cities. And we'd like to thank Tri-Cities Community Television for making these interviews possible. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge that our interview today is taking place on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of Quiquitlam First Nations. And we thank the Quiquitlam people who continue to live on these lands and to protect the lands and the waters and all that lies above and below. Today, um, I'm being joined by Johan Contreras, who is running for Port Moody City Council. So thank you for joining us today, Johan. Thank you for having me. I think where we will start is just to learn a little bit more about you. For people who don't already know you, uh, could you maybe give us a little bit of background about um, who you are and how you came to run for Port Moody City Council? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, I was born in Winnipeg. Uh, my father is originally from Mexico City. And my mother's also from Winnipeg. Okay. And uh, when I was four years old, my parents got jobs as civilians working for the Canadian military. And uh, this was during the first Gulf War. And uh, what uh, was happening was uh, the military was creating a small, uh, almost like a small uh, Canada's uh, in on military bases. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, and so my my father was working in food services, and my mom was uh, working as a dental hygienist, and so we uh, packed up and moved to uh, Winnipeg. Wow. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, <laughs> Germany. And that's a big move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was uh, it was quite a big move, and mm. uh, a lot of fun, good experience. Uh, I was did quite you young. Say you were? Oh, I was four years old okay. when we moved there, so. And uh, then uh, when uh, that was done, um, the military said to my parents, we'll uh, ship your things to anywhere in Canada for free. Okay. And by that point, they had heard good things about uh, Port Coquitlam and ended up there. Wow, so that was a big move that didn't go back to Winnipeg. No, no, it, uh, yeah, it, was, it was quite a, quite a change, uh, mm -hmm. and, but I'm, I'm used to that and, uh, throughout uh, my life. And, we uh, we just find uh, find new people uh, um, uh, uh, to meet, and uh, you know it's really gave me a lot of um, it really gave me a good background in in, in meeting new people and and the right. importance of uh, community. What was it about? You said Port Coquitlam. What was it about Port Coquitlam that they liked? Like why, out of all the places in Canada, was that the place they chose? Well, uh, they had heard, just heard good things about uh, uh, Port Coquitlam from uh, people that uh, uh, were um, uh, overseas with them on the air bases, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, and they, they came to check it out, and they said, hey, this is a great place to be, so um, we ended up here. Well, it sounds like you have lots of worldly experience. You've um, been able to experience different cultures and, and life in different cities and being flexible at moving around. Um, what inspired you to run for Port Moody City Council? Yeah, so uh, what inspired me in particular was, uh, I, you know, I've, I've been in Port Moody for some time now, um, and I've been following council and, and municipal politics for some time. Um, and then I started uh, uh, just watching uh, very specifically the last four years. Mm -hmm. And I think that the, um, the real catalyst for me was when I heard that uh, our current council had to go to a, a good governance conference okay. um, in order to um, basically to work things out amongst them. Um, as a lawyer, that's something that, um, yeah, it really uh, struck a chord with me because my entire uh, work life and uh, uh, job as a practicing lawyer is to find ways to work with people, no matter what the circumstances, no matter uh, who they are, um, in order to get things done, get things done. So. So your skills that you're bringing as a lawyer sound like they could be very helpful um, in working together with the city council and coming to 
maybe not even consensus all the time, but at least coming to some sort of place where that you can move forward on different issues. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, look, I, I totally understand that uh, uh, people don't always agree, mm -hmm. and that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, it's it's the approach. It's the way right. that we go about uh, disagreeing with each other that uh, matters, and the importance of listening. Even if if, if we're dis disagreeing with somebody on a, on some point, it doesn't mean that we have to stop listening or, or stop work working together. Uh, it just means that we need to maybe find new pathways or new approaches or or maybe even a, a blended approach. Mm -hmm. No, I agree and I, I agree with you when you say we don't all necessarily have to agree because it's sometimes good to have a diversity of opinion and that's what makes us stronger if we have that diversity but it's how we deal with that diversity to get from point A to point B um, and You've said uh, several times already that respectful, uh, respectful path forward is something that you would be interested in pursuing and making sure happened on City uh, Council. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I think that is my, my top priority. That's uh, the top reason why I decided to get involved uh, was because I felt um, almost compelled as a, as a lawyer who uh, as a law firm in, in Port Moody, mm -hmm. and uh, as a practicing lawyer, I, I, I felt compelled to, to bring these, these skills um, to council. And, and I, I think that uh, it's something that uh, will, will be beneficial for Port Moody. Right, so um, that sounds like you said it's your top priority. Can you share with us some of your other priorities? If you're successful on um, getting on to city council, what would be your top three or four priorities that you'd like, things that you would like to see happen? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, uh, look, I'm for uh, well thought out uh, strategic development. Okay. Um, and part and parcel with that uh, uh, development comes uh, infrastructure uh, that, that makes sense for Port Moody and okay. makes sense for the needs of Port Moody. So, as far as infrastructure, um, does Port Moody have adequate infrastructure right now? And also, what do you mean by infrastructure? What kind of infrastructure are you talking about? Yeah, no, not a problem. Uh, uh, look, I, I think that Port Moody uh, definitely um, has has a good foundation, has a great foundation. Um, I think that there's always uh, things that we can we can tweak and, and change as as we evolve. I mean, we're in an evolving city. Uh, people. Uh, um, you know, my, some of my neighbors uh, are, are fairly new to Port Moody, and uh, and and as uh, the demographics change, as the needs change, uh, uh, then uh, Port Moody changes along with it. Mm -hmm. uh, but examples uh, of infrastructure are things like uh, uh, businesses. I, I, I run a local business, and I'm very much oh, okay. for supporting uh, business growth within Port Moody uh, to make sure that uh, not only are our, our city flourishes, but also that uh, a lot of the uh, uh, tax burden isn't passed on to residents directly. So as far as the tax burden, by bringing business into the city, then that would broaden the tax base? Is that is that what you're um, saying? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's yeah. that's certainly one way of, of, of doing that. And uh, um, there's 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 certainly other other things that are on the way. So uh, uh, some other uh, uh, developments uh, that are already in progress uh, could also bring uh, 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 more people to spread that uh, tax base uh, throughout. Um, but I think the most important thing that we should uh, do uh, as a as a city is make sure that we're we're listening to each other. We're listening to other people on council. We're listening to uh, staff who uh, work for the city of Port Moody. Mm -hmm. and we're listening to experts with good reports, um, and we're listening and we're working together, and uh, we can achieve great things. Right. So you're uh, trying to be inclusive and making sure that everybody who has a a, a stake in it has a voice and and is heard respectfully. Um, what about public consultation? Should the public be part of that process and 
How would you like to see the public engaged? Oh, absolutely. And, and this uh, goes back to what I was saying for uh, the importance of, of, of listening and, and, and respecting other opinions. And so mm -hmm. uh, I, I absolutely think that uh, the most important way for the public to be engaged is in a meaningful way, right? So we're, we're get, if we're getting information from uh, a public, which absolutely is, is right. very important. I mean, these are the people of Port Moody, and um, we want to make sure that if we're uh, getting tapping into that information, that we're doing it in a way that uh, is meaningful, meaningful engagement from the public. Right. Um, and then um, I guess one area that I was interested in learning more about your thoughts on is sort of heritage, culture, the arts. Um, you've said that you're a supporter of heritage. How would you support heritage and, and what sort of um, heritage would you like to see in, in Port Moody? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, look, uh, a lot of uh, good work is already being done, which is fantastic, and I and I certainly support that. Um, but uh, it, absolutely, I mean, we want to look at ways uh, where we can uh, connect with uh, people who are involved uh, with mm -hmm. uh, heritage restoration and and uh, just open conversations. I know that if we have open conversations with uh, uh, different uh, uh, stakeholders with different perspectives, we can achieve great things for Port Moody, uh, including uh, making sure that our heritage is preserved in a meaningful way. Mm -hmm. And when you're talking about heritage, do you mean heritage homes or a heritage area of the town or something else? Yeah, all of the above, all of the above. I think that uh, uh, Port Moody's got a, a, a wonderful long history. Uh, uh, there certainly are uh, uh, things that uh, make our, our community special. And uh, I certainly uh, think that it's important to uh, explore ways where we can preserve heritage in both the physical aspects and in the uh, um, uh, other uh, intangible. Right. Methods. So what makes Port Moody special? You said it's a special place. Um, what is it about Port Moody that um, makes it different and unique and, and worth, worth fighting for and, and, you know, being engaged? Yeah, I mean, uh, Port Moody is such a beautiful, wonderful place. It's 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 beautiful, surrounded by nature, uh, right in the Burrard Inlet. Uh, uh, we've got a, a wonderful balance uh, in uh, in development uh, as well as um, uh, infrastructure and uh, in, in, with also heritage but uh, mm -hmm. one thing I, I would like to mention and I know you touched on this earlier when you're asking about the the arts I mean we, we call ourselves the city of the arts mm -hmm. and that's another a very special uh, part of Port Moody so uh, but at the at the end of the day it's the community and I know that the community is uh, uh, a, it's it's a great community and I know that uh, we can really move towards um, something really good for Port Moody this October 15th. Yeah and there's a, a sort of a vibrant art community within the city. How would you as a um, city councillor at the municipal level how would you support arts and artists in the city? Yeah, absolutely. Look, uh, I, I, I should say that uh, I, I have an artist in the family. My uh, daughter uh, is, uh, wow. is 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 a, is a fantastic artist. She's Excellent. four years old, but uh, she was allowed uh, to enter uh, an art program early, a local art program. Wow. Um, yeah, and so and she's done some great stuff. What kind and of so, art does she do? Oh. Yeah, I mean, well, she'll, she, she's happy to do uh, pretty much anything you put in so front of her. she's just an artist yes. by nature. But this would be uh, mostly painting and drawing, oh, okay. this, this class. And, um, so, so I definitely support the arts uh, in, in Port Moody, not just in that uh, uh, frame, but also the other arts, uh, spoken arts and uh, uh, other types of public art. Uh, but one of the things that uh, has happened since I uh, decided to run for council is that a lot of the people in the arts community have reached out to me as well, oh, okay. which has been fantastic. So um, I've been uh, certainly working with them uh, to find ways that we can promote our identity as City of the Arts. Right. Um, and are there some ideas that have come out of that, some directions that you would like to see the city go? Yeah, I mean, I think it would be nice if uh, uh, we had a... A more, a more prominent uh, uh, infrastructure uh, that was uh, interwoven with art. So, um, uh, for example, uh, um, you know, taking uh, uh, an example of 
that uh, my family and I saw the other day. We were at Lafarge Lake and uh, I, I saw, for example, some uh, benches that people could sit on that were also designed almost like a, uh, like a, like a skateboard ramp. I'm not sure if that, that works okay. necessarily in Port Moody, but uh, just that, that idea of, of uh, um, an, an, art, an artistic way of designing a bench that was also functional and also right. part of the infrastructure. And I, I just saw that as an example. So. So it's public art, it's functional, it has a use, um, and it fits in with the whole heritage and, and culture feel of Port Moody. So that's the type of um, sort of artwork you'd like to see in in the city? Uh, look, that's one type. I mean, mm. there's there's certainly uh, other different types of, of art. Uh, uh, for example, uh, a food. Food can be art. Oh. Right? So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, tell uh, us more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, I, I've uh, I've been enjoying uh, uh, looking on uh, 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 Facebook recently, there's several uh, public groups, and one of them uh, features different uh, uh, food as art. So uh, angles and shots of of different uh, uh, burgers and sandwiches, and that's that's art. That's 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 a form of art. That that's would make beauty. an interesting art show if it, you could have an edible art show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and it would be nice to uh, see more, um, uh, even just a, a kind of pop-up uh, art in different areas. Oh, okay. uh, for example, uh, uh, the stage at Rocky Point, or uh, right. um, uh, maybe even uh, uh, just off of Clark might be nice. And so, yeah, just different areas where I think that uh, uh, things could happen, and we just... Uh, so would you like to see more festivals and events uh, around town? Oh, I'd certainly be willing to explore that and, and explore different uh, uh, ways of, of doing, uh, uh, basically bringing more art to the City of the Arts, absolutely. Yeah. Another thing, and you touched on this already, um, that makes Port Moody sort of a special and, and unique um, city is the environment, is its natural setting. So we're on um, right on the the inlet and um, you've got mountains, you've got green spaces, the oceans right there. Um, do we, is Port Moody doing enough to protect the natural environment? Yeah, so I mean, uh, one thing that uh, is very important is that we uh, continue to before um, uh, uh, changing uh, n natural landscapes, we mm -hmm. always, it's always important to make sure that we're doing it in the right way, uh, in the right place. Um, and uh, in my opinion, I, I the what the city staff do a fantastic job, and a good council who is working together and listening to each other uh, uh, will um, ask for reports, information-based. So I'm very much an information-based person. Oh, that's, okay. That's definitely uh, my my uh, background and that's who I am as a person um, and, and definitely a very important part of being a lawyer. So uh, when I uh, want to explore something, uh, I say, look, I, let's, let's get, let's get uh, good reports from good uh, mm -hmm. uh, sources and let's explore what the uh, um, ramifications of doing something would be. So uh, absolutely. But I think it's very important that we we, we, we listen. We, we need to listen and, and start working together to make sure that we're doing that. Yeah, and do you think um, in Port Moody, do we have enough park space? Is there anything you would like to change with that? Um, is there already enough there or do we need more? Um, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, uh, look. Uh, uh, the reality is that uh, we would all love more parks. I mean, parks are parks are beautiful places to be. Uh, I have kids. I, I certainly love taking my kids to the park. Uh, as an even as an adult, I I enjoy running uh, through different trails. Uh, Got some nice trails to run through and. Port Moody along the water shoreline. And oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I, it's it's fantastic, uh, uh, and so I think it's very important to have uh, uh, those spaces. Uh, having said that, I think that it's also important to balance uh, 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 what we have with what we need, and I think mm -hmm. where we're going. And I do think that uh, um, it's important to uh, make sure that we're doing things for Port Moody that uh, also protect us financially and make sure that we're not uh, um, uh, overburdened with uh, residential taxes, for example. Uh, I know that this is a very difficult time for a lot of people with uh, uh, in this post-COVID area with uh, um, inflation and, and, right. and I, I certainly uh, want to make sure that we balance um, uh, park space. So to and, be fiscally and, responsible about um, 
sort of actions or, or, or what's going on in the city? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and uh, look, I, I'm a very uh, balanced person. I'm, I'm really um, wanting uh, to bring a very balanced approach to Port right. Moody and to take into account uh, all these things, all these major issues, and 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 find ways of of, of working with the people who are also uh, uh, elected. Should I choose to be elected, uh, I'll have a, a team of people to work with, and uh, you know those are the people who I will uh, work for to um, make sure that we're finding that balance for Paul Moody. So, do you think is there? Um, you were talking about you know people are finding it challenging. It's um, you know, maybe post COVID a little bit and then prices going up. And um, what about affordable housing? Do you think, are we meeting the needs of everybody or is there something else that should be done to, you know, make sure that everybody has a home that they can afford and, and feel, you know, stable in? Are, are we doing enough for affordable housing? Yeah, I, look, I, I think that uh, uh, certainly uh, it is important that we we we, we find house. We're 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 in a, a housing crisis, and uh, that's the reality that uh, that we're in in this area. Uh, I think that there's certainly uh, ways to make sure that we uh, get affordable housing and 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 keep it uh, in Port Moody. Mm -hmm. And uh, but but a lot of that goes back to the balanced approach uh, that I was talking about with regards to uh, strategic development, well thought out development, because we can get the, get those. Those, get those things done if we're willing to work with partners, BC Housing Development uh, companies. Okay, and that's the like. in, yeah, BC Housing. Okay, so that would be one partner that definitely um, uh, that would be provincial, right? So Correct. bringing in the provincial partners. Um, how about development? Are are we asking enough of developers when it comes to affordable housing and and other amenities, or are, have we already asked too much? Um, yeah, just some I, thoughts on that. Well, look, I mean, I, I, I think uh, unfortunately what's happened over the last four years is uh, uh, we've entered into an era where uh, we're not having good relationships with uh, those uh, uh, those those partners, developers, BC Housing, and and, and uh, I think that it's important to have those good relationships in order to be able to negotiate and get those uh, good things for Port Moody, so that everyone is uh, um, get, needs are being met in different ways. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I, I think that uh, you can certainly gain a lot of benefit from having those good relationships. So mm -hmm. uh, things that work for, for, for both parties and making sure that we're um, achieving good things for poor Moody. So why are relationships not good, do you think? Or do you have any sort of opinion on that? Like, why or why are they not good, and how can we improve them? Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, uh, uh, like I said before, uh, what really uh, brought me in uh, into this was uh, uh, when I heard that uh, the current council had to go to a good governance conference to, to get along. Um, that again, that's 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 a, that, that is a concern for me as as a lawyer and as a citizen of Port Moody. And uh, I think that the most important thing is really just to start from a perspective of, uh, uh, hey, you know, we. we we won't always agree. We won't always uh, uh, see eye to eye, but that doesn't mean we we have to stop working together or or finding ways to work against each other. And I'm not for that. I'm I'm very much for uh, finding ways to work with uh, whoever I'm working with. And I think you've um, talked about a unified approach. So um, that sort of maybe not necessarily agreeing, but not being con confrontational as well. Um, if you get on city council, what would you do to promote? A respectful workplace. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, look, uh, what what I would do is is start from myself. I I, mm -hmm. I know that uh, um, uh, my reactions are the only reactions that I can control. I know that, um, and so my goal is really just to 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 start from that perspective and to say, hey, you know what? Uh, 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 thank you for uh, uh, choosing me, uh, Port Moody. Hopefully, October fifteenth, uh, uh, and uh, you've also chosen to. Uh, um, select other people for me to work with, and no matter who those people are, I intend to work with them. I in turn to to uh, uh, extend the olive branch, and so we can get those relationships back, and start getting moving forward again for Port Moody. Right. And would you support um, a third party coming in? Like there's. Um, at a provincial level, having an integrity commissioner or somebody who could oversee those really um, contentious issues that, that can't be resolved by council, to have a third party come in and, and help, help do that? 
Look, I, I'm hoping that on October 15th, the people of Port Moody elect people who won't even have to get there. That's that's really mm -hmm. my goal. I mean, my that's uh, um, you know this, this is this is what I what I do for um, you know what I've, what I've chosen as a, a, a career path and really it's a life path, helping people and finding ways to get things done. And, and I'm quite uh, uh, optimistic that the people of Port Moody uh, see see the need for for change, see the need for respectful governance, and see the need. Uh, uh, to uh, make sure that the people that they choose to um, uh, uh, serve on council uh, this October 15th will be people who uh, will work respectfully with each other in order to get things done. Okay, and I have a couple more questions. We just, our time is almost up, but I have two more questions. One um, is uh, uh, something that I'm personally interested in, and it's trees in the city. Do you think we're doing enough to protect the trees in Port um, Moody? And also, why, why do you think trees are important in the city? Oh, absolutely. I mean, trees are an integral part of what makes Port Moody, Port Moody, right? So mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're, they're uh, certainly in, important for the environment and, uh, and, and beauty. I, I know that I, I, I love, um, uh, there's an area right by my house and, and when I'm when I'm walking by that area, I'm, I'm really enjoy the, the 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 beautiful spells in the shade, especially on a hot summer's yes. day. And so I, I know <laughs> it's that getting hotter and hotter out there. So absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, no, it's 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 very important. Uh, we we can always do more, but we can always explore uh, ways to balance. Um, uh, 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 you know, tr trees and and the environment and mm -hmm. uh, the needs of everyday Port Moody and to make sure that we're getting things done, we're balancing that with uh, uh, the approaches that we're taking. Absolutely. Okay, and I have one last question. Yeah. So what have you been doing so far to get the word out, to engage people? Have you been out door knocking or talking to people? Like, can you give us a sense of where you are in your campaign? Oh, absolutely. So, uh, uh, look, I, I'm... Uh, uh, I'm answering questions on uh, uh, Facebook. Uh, people will often ask me questions, and I ha and I have been uh, uh, answering them. Uh, I've been, yeah, like you said, door knocking and enjoying speaking with a lot of different residents uh, yeah. uh, in, a, in different parts of Port Moody. Uh, I've been going to events and 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 just uh, re really just uh, making sure that uh, people are aware that uh, I'm there and I'm I'm listening and I'm mm -hmm. and I'm and I'm wanting to work for them. Kind of connecting with the community and, and starting to build those relationships. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Johan, for coming out and, and talking to us today. Um, we'll wish you all the very best in your campaign. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, again, we, we our gratitude to Tri-Cities Community Television for making these interviews possible. We were talking today with Johan Contreras, who is running for Port Moody City Council.